our emotions can give us wonderful experiences, even joy, mm. right? Precisely those good experiences that sometimes the emotions give us are what leads us to generate a sense of dependency of the permanence of those things that gives us those emotions for our happiness, to yes. continue having the emotions. And that's how we generate attachments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, attachment seems to be inherently human. Yes, of course. So yeah. how do we integrate these two? How, how do we make a practice of non-attachment within a fully attached mm. gear? <laughs> <laughs> It's a great question, and of course, it's one that ultimately we all face, whether consciously or unconsciously. Yeah. Of course, life would be very empty without enjoyable things, without the people that we love, and the deep connections that we can form with them, and without the goals that we have. There's nothing wrong with any of these things. But the problem comes when we see these things as the cause of our happiness, mm. right? when we depend on these things. Then our relationship with another person turns into a kind of business relationship instead of uh, a, a real giving, a real flow of energy outward through the heart. So it's a matter of finding a healthy relationship with those things so that we can pursue our goals with great passion, but without depending on the outcome. And of course, it's difficult if we have no other idea of how to find contentment, how to find that joy. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why yoga practice is some form of practice, right? meditative practice. Any spiritual tradition ultimately has an essential attempt to find that peace or happiness that is inherent often talked about as the image of God, right? mm -hmm. that we're all made in the image of God, to attune ourselves to that presence of God or spirit. Mm -hmm. So that presence, that experience of the internal joy makes it much more possible to be involved in the world without depending, without needing those things to be the source of our happiness. So by saying this, I mean to say that yoga recommends both some kind of practice to help us attune to the self within, the, the natural joy, the innate sense of love and connection that's already present, and on the other hand, a relationship with the world around us right, that's a healthy one, mm -hmm. that's not dependent mm -hmm. 